Hi guys, welcome back once again. Um, Edwin here from Aspen Nation. So, diesel has, it's not really as refined as petrol. So, there tends to be a lot of soot, there tends to be a lot of um, emissions with burning diesel. For instance, uh, diesel has run under very high compression that you do not even need spark plugs for a diesel engine to ignite. So, the fuel is compressed so high that it ignites on its own as soon as the air is introduced uh, into the combustion chamber. So diesel particulate filters are sort of catalytic batteries really, but um, specifically for diesel. So you'll find this particular unit, um, something like look, that looks like this, but in, in it holds um, filters, uh, which are more of the catalytic converters. We've also ever talked about catalytic converters. You can find the video um, right here on this channel in um, the videos that we did previously. So you'll find that you have the filters in here that is composed of different rare metals and then that is what uh, works, reacts with um, the heat and the uh, fumes that come out of uh, combustion to be filtered and make it safe for the environment. Ideally just um, produce water and nitrogen but majorly for diesel cars you will still find they some smoke and soot but reduced to the levels that are safe so one thing that normally makes it a problem with diesel particulate filters is uh, diesel cars are made for longer journeys diesel cars diesel engines are made for running for long so um, if you buy a diesel car then it is expected that you need to be doing a lot of miles Part of the problem is that um, we buy these diesel cars, small diesel cars, but then we do not drive them enough. For instance, uh, they are not really good cars for home office, home office. They are supposed to be cars for longer journeys. Um, they are supposed to be sort of GT cars, cruising cars, uh, for you to haul your family to go to the countryside and up, but not just home office. So what contributes to issues with the DPF is that they do not get heated up enough they do not um, the cars do not get driven enough uh, for them to regenerate so the regeneration is normally uh, the systems are made to regenerate uh, by just cleaning themselves up and then becoming fresh again for continuous use so when they do not regenerate is when you have problems with the soot accumulating and then blockage and then there is um, back pressure, sort of your engine is choking, the entire system is choking, and then you have check engine lights, you have um, exhaust uh, warning lights, you have uh, low power, loss of power, or you probably have uh, no power at all. So the quickest, simplest way of solving DPF issues is just blow the shit out. Get to the road, do a run, a proper run. Um, 100 kilometers an hour for longer, let's say 100 kilometers an hour for over 20 minutes, then your DPF will always regenerate. But if you're doing the start stop things and um, uh, traffic jam, start stop, uh, five minutes from the house to, to the office, 10 minutes from home to the office, then you'll always have problems with DPF. So the simplest, quickest, free way of sorting out your DPF is blow the shit out by just running your car attain the speeds that the thing can heat up for quite some time for it to regenerate. Think of it as you have something that has come out of the fridge, um, you need to use it, but then you're not heating it enough in the microwave, you're not letting it out in the sun enough for it to be able to heat up, for it to be able to, for, for thawing to happen, uh, for you to use it. So you need to open the throttle, you need to speed, not really dangerous speeds, maintain um, legal speed but if you can do it for longer let's say 80 kilometers an hour and slightly above sustain it for 10 20 15 minutes then your dpf will always be regenerated one wonders why don't we have some of these issues in um, some other cars why don't some other people complain about it you have people with the same model the same make you have they do not have dpf issues find out what do they do different maybe not they just drive their car longer than you, they drive their car a bit faster than you and that is how diesel particulate filters work. Um, as from I think 2018-2020 there uh, we will also be having, we also have uh, 
petrol particulate filter. So other than just catalytic converters, uh, petrol cars are also coming with petrol particulate filters. This is because of um, EU emissions. I think uh, Euro 6 and above, uh, you will find that some of the older diesel cars cannot enter into central London and um, some of the other European cities, uh, which is why you've seen there's a lot of um, uh, promotion on electrical, um, electrical vehicles and electrical components in the vehicles. But then um, fossil fuel is still here and I think fossil fuel still has some long way to go with us before it's kicked out. Sales for electric cars are also going down. Yeah, I wonder why. But yeah, China is the biggest um, consumer and producer of electric cars. Not even Tesla, but yes. So, diesel particulate filter, treat it, make it serve you by making it um, run clean by you making it uh, regenerate. It's more of a forceful region. So, once in a while, uh, just drive it hard, drive it longer, then it will regenerate. Thank you. Hope you've learned.